Here, um, they closed the park, so they had a police car across the road, and we barely made it in. <laughs> yeah, you have to laugh at this. People were so desperate to cool off. They actually overwhelmed the Clackamas River today. An estimated 1,000 people showed up to float, so many that deputies had to shut down Barton Park for hours. KGW's Lindsay Nadrich continues our team coverage. And Lindsay, that wasn't the only big crowd out today. Water was just a huge draw. Well, it's pretty quiet here now at Jamison Fountain, but even the fountain was packed today with both adults and kiddos trying to stay cool. It seemed everyone had the same idea of how to escape today's heat. It's hot. Everybody's out here. It's too hot to be home. That was clearly the case for many people. Cars packed full of people and floaties headed to the Clackamas River by the thousands. Oh, that's probably just counting people that have made it to the river. We've turned away hundreds and hundreds of more. By 11 a.m., Barton Park was at capacity and had to be closed. One kayaker said it's the busiest he's ever seen. Millions. There's a sea of humanity over the whole river. <laughs> we came on the 4th of July and there was 10% of the people that are here today. I mean, it's just thousands. It was unbelievable. From Barton Park, people float to Carver Park. It was a mess of traffic, floaties, and a lack of parking there as well as people got out of the river. It's pretty wild. You know, we're just trying to beat the heat, get, you know, get some water on our skin, and yeah, it's, it's kind of a pain, but it's all good. Across town, it was no different. Glen Auto is usually the busiest. The Sandy River in Troutdale was also slammed with people trying to stay cool. And it was packed to the gills. Well, we drove by and we looked at the river levels and uh, amount of people. Um, they're everywhere down there. Jameson Fountain was crowded as well. Even adults took advantage of the water. Yes, it helped me a lot. <laughs> it's definitely stuck my feet in. It's very nice. <laughs> Whether it was inside city limits or out on the river, a little cold water seemed to be a necessity. It was pretty hot, but like when you go in the water, it's like it was all gone. So things have cooled down tonight. There is a little bit of a breeze. Usually at this time of night, I need a jacket, but I don't because it's still pretty warm out here. Back to you guys. I was going to say, Lindsay Nadridge braving the heat for us out there today. Lindsay, thank you very much.